So welcome back aliens, this is Narvind Reddy from Tariskal Learnings and in this video we will talk about Hibernate Relations. Now you, if you are coming from the database background you know what I am talking about right. So we have different relations to work with right. So we, we have one to one, we have one to many, we have many to many right. So one table can have its records in the, so let us imagine we have employees and we have department table. So normally what we do is, uh, so one I mean one department will have multiple employees. So that means they have uh, one department multiple employees which means one to many and if you, if you look at from the employees perspective which is many employees work for same department that is called as many to one right then we have laptop so I own one laptop so which means one to one and one laptop can belong to only one person right so there is one to one but, but uh, let us say if you go to a library where you have multiple you have lots of books so the same book can be I mean so multiple people can use the same book, I mean they can you know in rotation basis or one person can take multiple books. So there is multiple people can work with multiple books that is called as many to many right. So you know all this stuff from, from, data, from the database world right. So that is not the whole topic here, the, the whole thing is how can you implement those things in Hibernate because that we can do in SQL right and we are expert in that we can create all those primary key foreign key stuff in, in SQL. How about Hibernate, let us try to do that here. So you can see we have two examples here. The first one is we have a class laptop which has these two records. We have LID and L name and then we have uh, we have student class here which has roll number, name and marks and these are two different entities right and you can see I am using annotation which is at entity and at entity which means we will be getting two separate tables all together. One will be laptop and one will be student right. So let us imagine this is th those tables, so we have laptop table where we have LID and we have L name. Then we have student table where we have roll number, name and marks which is your columns here. And again we have roll number as the primary key and then we have your LID as your primary key. So this column and this column are your primary keys, right. But let us say now I want to create a relationship, so a laptop, so let us say student will have a laptop object, I mean can we do that and of course we can do that right. So imagine this is a class and again we have some getters and setters here the way we normally do. So on both the end we have getters and setters. Now let us say in this student class if I am creating object of laptop because every student will have a laptop right. So what we will do is we will say private and that will be laptop and then we will be having laptop okay by any mean if you are thinking that we have a different font altogether so this thing is written by someone else and I am writing this stuff, this stuff here so you will, you will find it a different font there. So now what I am doing is I am creating one more object here which is laptop right. So we have a laptop uh, object here which is which is inside your student class. Now how will it impact your table? So now since we have one more column there what we will be doing uh, again you guessed it right again we have to create a foreign key and a primary key relationship here. So this class will have one more I mean this table will have one more column here and that will be your LID right. So we will be having a laptop here let us say let us imagine we have laptop 1 and then laptop name is Dell and then we have roll number 1 or let us say this is 101 roll number 1 name is let us say Naveen and then I am saying marks equal to 50 and then LID which is your 101 which specifies that we have a relationship between this laptop and a student where this is your foreign key from your laptop table right. So, uh, so yes that is how you can relate that Navin Reddy has a, has a laptop which is Dell laptop right. So that is how you can create one to one but will it work directly not exactly to achieve this somewhere here just above your object declaration you have to mention an annotation which is called as at one two one okay this this o is capital here so you have to use an annotation called as one to one so one student will have only one laptop so student student table will get affected and you have to mention that lid there simple right so when you have one object one laptop object in student table that's how you do it now let us say I do not want to use one laptop so in fact as a student or as a professional I have multiple laptops let us say I have one Dell, one HP laptop and one Macbook so if I have three laptops here I cannot use one object here right I have to use a list of laptops. 
So what I will do now is instead of having a normal laptop entry here, let me go for list of laptops. Again, we have, uh, okay, that's your int marks. But let's say if I create private and we'll say list of laptop and then we'll say laptops. Again, when you change all these things, you, you, you do have to change the getters and setters. Again, we'll see that in the, in the practical, how do we do that? But time and what you're focusing is those four relationship. So when you have one student with multiple laptops, and for this scenario, you have to use an annotation called as one, two, many, because one student will have multiple laptops, right? So you have to use annotation, which is one, two, many, again, with, without any space. So it is at one to many. That means one student will have many laptops. But in this scenario, how will you update your tables? Because say this will not work because one student will have multiple laptops. Let's say we have laptop 102 here, which is HP, and Navin Reddy buys, I mean, has both the laptops. How can you, how can you mention that here? You cannot say 102 comma 102, I mean 101 comma 102, right? And you can't even have two records here because roll number is a primary key. So you cannot say one Naveen 50 102 because roll number is a primary key. So it will give you error. So in this situation, what we normally do is, let's not change this table. So this table will be independent. So student table will have its own records and laptop will have its own record. There will be one more table, which will be called as student underscore laptop so there will be one more table called a student that's called laptop in this table you'll be having two columns the first column would be student or in fact roll number because that's your primary key so it will be having roll number and the second column would be lid now the entries would be it is one then 101 then 1102 let's say if you have one more student here which is roll number two and his name is let's say Arti and then the marks is let's say 56 and then I'm using 103 here which is MacBook uh, which is let's say MacBook okay and let's say Arti has only one laptop here which is MacBook so what we'll do is we'll say 2 and 103 so you can see we have a table here which is used for the mapping so this is a different table called as student laptop which has a which which has all the relationship entries right because we cannot do that here but hold on we have a solution for that right instead of creating a new table what if you can just change your laptop table i mean something like this what if somewhere here i don't have a place to do that let's say uh, i'm just creating a column column here it should be at the end but let's say since we don't have a place i will i will create it here can i create a roll number column here so this is your primary key okay so can I create a row number column here and every laptop will be defined. So this, this laptop belongs to row number one, this laptop belongs to row number one, this laptop belongs to row number two. Simple, right? So instead of having the entry in the another, another table, we can have the entry in laptop itself. But hold on, how it will work? Because student table knows that it has laptop entry. Your laptop class don't know that it is related to student. How will this column will be created? So you have to mention in your laptop class that every laptop belongs to a student. So for that, I'll be using private student and then we'll say, let's say stood. Again, if you don't do this, if you don't write this, the, the, the output would be laptop table without this column, student table and then student underscore laptop table. But if you do this, if you write private student, I mean private student stood, now this class will know that we have a column or we have a field here of which you have to create a column, right? But again, we are fetching the roll number, right? So this should know that we are going for a relationship. And the way you can do that is with the help of at many to one annotation. So when we use at many to one annotation, which means that this this laptop class is responsible to create a column from the student <coughs> sorry from the student table and that will be roll number right so in this student you have to mention one to many you have to mention that and in laptop you have to mention many to one now if you if you do this if you run this code the expected output is 
laptop table with this column, student table with this field. There will not be any extra table, right? But hold on, it will not work. You will be getting extra table as well. Even if you don't want that, your student, student will say, hey, you, you asked me to create one too many, it is my job to create that table. Laptop will say, you have mentioned many to one, it is my job to add this column. Why both are doing that? Again, ego problem maybe. So you have to mention to your student class that the mapping is done by laptop, so you don't have to do it. Now, how can you mention that? You can mention here, mapped by property, so you can say mapped by, and in double quotes you have to mention the name of the field, which is stood. So if you write stood here, you're mentioning to your laptop, I mean, you're mentioning to your student table or student class that I'm doing one to money, that's perfect, but the mapping is done by laptop, don't do it by yourself. That means if you do this, it will not create that extra table. It will go for only two tables, laptop and student, and you'll be having the entry at the end of this, end of, end of this uh, table, which is roll number, okay? So that's how you use one to many, uh, one to one, one to many, many to one. But how about many to many? How you can do that? Let's say, uh, so we will having, one student will have multiple laptops and then laptop will have one student. But what if you have many to many relationship? So one student can use multiple laptops and multiple laptop can belong to one student. That's weird, right? So multiple laptop can be used by multiple students. So we, we have many to many relationship here. To achieve that, instead of using stud or student, we need to create a list of student. So we'll say list of student. And let's say this is studs. Instead of using stud, we say studs. Now this time we have laptops which has multiple students and we have students which has multiple laptops. So we cannot use one to many or many to one here. We need to use many to many. And here as well, you have to mention many to many. Now again, if you write many to many and many to many, without this mapped by, both the classes or both the tables will be having their subordinate tables. So if you don't write mapped by, what it will do is, laptop will create laptop table, student will create student table. But laptop will also create laptop underscore student table and student will create student underscore laptop table. So in total, we'll be getting four tables. We don't want that, right? The mapping should be done with only one table. Now this will not be this will not be applicable because one laptop can have multiple students, so we cannot do that. So we need to use a mapping table here, which is which will be called as let's say laptop underscore student, right? And you can achieve that with the help of mapped by property or attribute. So that's how you use uh, one to many, many to one, many to many, and all those stuff. So in the next video, we'll be talking about the practical implementation of it. So I hope you liked this video, how exactly it works. Let me know in the comment section if you, if you have some issues with this. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for, for the videos.